Barak the Yahawa, Barakatha, Yahawasha, Barak the Yahawa, Barakatha, Yahawasha, Ba Hashem, Rakakwadash. The honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Controlled Opposition. Ryan Garcia video was inspired by a video I came across the platform the truth is okay and his video is entitled exposing the truth about Ryan Garcia okay understand something if a person truly is opposed to this agenda that person will be dead, will be assassinated, okay? If a person is truly against the agenda of the elites, okay, by default, he is going to die. At the end of the day, Ryan Garcia is controlled opposition, okay? Also, this video will be used for our use purpose only. Ryan Garcia has been trending all over the media for his strange behavior. His claims made while on a Twitter space chat with Andrew Tate had people shocked and wondering what exactly Ryan was talking about. Was he? And also Andrew Tate. Now, um, I want to say that his father was a CIA agent or FBI, but I'm thinking more so CIA. And of course, Andrew Tate is a Freemason. All right. Hence his hand gestures be taken to the bohemian grove and witness a satanic ritual like he claimed or was he just trolling in order to build up hype for his next fight the world was watching ryan wondering if he was losing his mind or telling the truth some people believe the young boxing stars claims and see him as someone who is risking it all to expose the elite while others but at the end of the day we already knew this via the spirit of yahweh bahasham yahweh shah we knew this okay the apostles been teaching this forever Okay, so fuck Ryan Garcia. At the end of the day, he never identified any names. Okay? He never identified any names. And also, if you are truly against this agenda, why are you boxing? Because at the end of the day, boxing is control. Esau controls everything from football, basketball, boxing. Okay? He controls it all, hence him being identified as the God of this world. Power he received from Yahweh through Yahweh Shah. Feel that he's just building up hype the wrong way. Well, what people aren't realizing is that the truth falls somewhere in the middle of all of this, and I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. Hey guys, I hope all is well. Welcome to The Truth Is, where I post new videos every other day exposing the truth. In today's episode, we will be talking about the Ryan Garcia situation again, as ever since the last video I made on him, I have been keeping my eyes on him and doing more research, and recently what I found changes everything to me. Let's get right into it. Over the last few days, Ryan has had all eyes on him, and it's not because of a boxing match. If you saw my last video on Ryan, then you would know that he recently made some explosive claims about being taken to the Bohemian Grove and witnessing some rituals on children. If you're one of the few people that didn't hear about this yet, make sure you watch my last video on Ryan Garcia. And if you know anything about Satanism, okay, within that concept of Satanism, they have to let you know what they're about. Well, there is through um, a comical format, commercials, music, movies, or the news because they believe in bad karma also. So they have to enlighten the world, however they do it, what they are truly about because of bad karma. And this is within the doctrine or the concept of Satanism first and then come back to this one as I don't want to repeat what I said in the last video in this one for the last several years of my life I've spent basically night and day studying how the occult works I'm not looking into conspiracy theories and nonsense but actually reading and learning the facts about masonry and the occult's control over our world I have made over 500 videos revealing this information I have learned and if you have watched this channel for the last three years you know that I have revealed more than enough evidence to prove our world is definitely being ran by Freemason occultists what Ryan claimed during the Twitter space conversation between him and Andrew Tate while it may have contained some truth wasn't at all what it seems as much as it appears that Ryan is exposing the truth and is going through some sort of battle with the elite that is not at all what is going on 
If you want to see an example of what happens to people who really expose the truth, we have to look at the case of former actor Isaac Cappy. Isaac Cappy was an upcoming Hollywood actor who played small roles in movies like Thor, Fear Fest, and Terminator Salvation. He was in Hollywood for several years and acted in plenty of movies and became friends with many of those in Hollywood. Isaac, while in Hollywood, saw what really happens in the industry and it scared him. He saw what Hollywood was secretly about and he didn't like it at all. He started exposing the industry and calling out people by name, calling out Seth Green, the producer of Robot Chicken and one of the voice actors on Family Guy. Isaac alleged that Seth Green wasn't at all who he seemed to be, but a P-word who was doing some sick stuff in his very own home. I obviously can't go deeper into this on YouTube, but I did make a Patreon exclusive video on Isaac Cappy that's available on Patreon for my members. After Cappy started exposing Hollywood, it wasn't long before he quote unquote ended it all. This is very strange since days before he did this, he told the world he would never take himself out. Isaac was- So wait a minute, this man is no longer living. And again, if Ryan Garcia was truly against the agenda, okay, he would not have a platform, period. What about that um, producer? that attempted to make um, the great state, okay? Allegedly, he killed himself and his family. And the reason why this happened, because he was truly attempting to expose the agenda of the elites, okay? And guess what? They offed him. They offed him and his family and made it appear that he did it, okay? So again, Ryan Garcia is nothing but a puppet calling out real names like Tom Hanks and a lot of others in Hollywood for being P-words, and days later they took him out. The difference between Isaac and Ryan's story is that Isaac actually named names, but Garcia made what seemed to be some very vague claims. Isaac Cappy is no longer with us as they took him out for exposing the sick monsters of our world, while Ryan Garcia is still alive and well promoting his upcoming boxing match. Explain to me how this makes any sense. How is Ryan Garcia going to be exposing the elite while promoting a boxing match that's put on by the very elite? If Ryan truly saw what he saw and is going to expose names involved, he would have the same exact ending as Isaac Cappy. This proves that what Ryan is saying is what they're allowing him to say. This is why he is not presenting the full truth or controlled opposition okay killing names of the people that actually did this to him. What Ryan said, no one who watches this channel and has their eyes open didn't already know. I exposed the Bohemian Grove two years back now and there was already plenty if you've been getting scam texts like these, it probably means your data has been leaked. Now, some of you can identify these as information available online about the Bohemian Grove long before my video. The only people who didn't know about the Bohemian Grove were those who didn't care to look into the truth. What Ryan was saying wasn't new information, but was already out there. The only thing that made what he said shocking was that he claimed that he was taken to the Bohemian Grove and was forced to watch rituals go down. He claimed to have proof of this, but didn't name any names or show any proof at any moment. Ryan claims he was tied up, but managed to- So again, if this truly happened, right? And if he was truly against the agenda, after exposing this, how is he still alive? Escape the elite, and now he claims the all-powerful elite are after him, but then tells the world he will be at a boxing match funded by the elite on 420. We know the Freemasons are the ones truly pulling the strings. We didn't hear him call out the Freemasons once. None of this seemed legit to me, and it made me take a deeper look into Ryan Garcia, and what I found to me proves he is a Masonic puppet, and what he is doing right now is deceiving the world and discrediting the truth movement. If we look into Garcia's life and career, there's a lot of red flags. Ryan Garcia started boxing when he was seven, being trained by his father Henry Garcia. Henry himself was a former boxer who early in his career left the sport behind, claiming he didn't want to deal with the risk of the industry. He then trained his son to become one of the best boxers in the sport. This means Ryan was already born into this industry, which made it easy for him to be planted in the sport. Ryan went professional back in 2016 when he was only 17 years old, when he signed to the former boxing legend Oscar De La Hoya's company, Golden Boy Promotion. Not long after signing with Oscar, Ryan started having some of the biggest fights in recent boxing history. Now, what this information tells us is very important, especially the fact that he was signed to Oscar. Oscar is 100% a Masonic puppet. Back in the 2000s, pictures of Oscar started to circulate online, showing him dressed in women fishnet lingerie. At first, he came out denying the photos were real, but after some time, he admitted it was him. Years later, it was revealed by WAC 100 that he was trying to extort Oscar for a million dollars to keep a video of him from coming out. That showed him dressed in women's clothing doing compromising things. Oscar would end up paying WAC 100 only $850,000 out of the million he wanted, and WAC 100 would end up leaking the tape. These tapes and photos of Oscar was him going through a Masonic hazing ritual. What's interesting is that Isaac Cappy, the man who passed away for exposing the industry, revealed that when the elite initiates someone in, they filmed them doing compromising things in order to blackmail them if they need to. This is exactly what they had on Oscar, and somehow the footage ended up in the hands of WAC 100. Oscar signed Ryan when he was only 17 years old. Oscar chose Ryan for a reason, and he definitely took the same oath as Oscar. In this video, we can find Oscar talking about Ryan's recent remarks, and we can see him doing some interesting hand gestures. I've been in touch with, with Ryan Garcia. I, I, I spoke to him yesterday. And the hand gesture informs the elite that he's down with the program, okay, as well as Ryan Garcia. I literally did. Spoke to him yesterday. We were on the, uh, we were on, on, on the you know, video uh, chat, whatever. Uh, yeah, we're FaceTiming each other. And um, he looks good. He looks good. He looks ready. I, I'm telling you. Look, he doesn't sound good. The fans are pretty concerned. Well, I mean, look, I, 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 all I know is that he left to camp yesterday, and he's with Derek James, and he's with his whole team. And one thing about Ryan is that he's been training, and there's what about six to seven weeks left to train 
and be ready for this fight April 20th, that's perfect timing. It, look, in my history, when I was fighting, I needed five to six weeks in camp. It's perfect timing. There's nothing that it's all it's all good. We will see Ryan Garcia up in the ring on April 20th. Do you think it was like the media tour that was giving him maybe a little bit too much, you know, stress? And now that he's back with Derek, back in Texas, he's it's it's all like smooth selling from now. Do you feel like? You'll have to ask him. <laughs> you'll have to ask him. I, I you'll have to ask him. You think he went too deep in the rabbit hole, the YouTube rabbit hole? <laughs> look, I mean, I, I I'm not somebody to speak for Ryan. I, As you heard for yourself, Oscar claims this entire time Ryan has been training for this fight and that he is good to box. At a point while he was saying this, we can see him doing a Masonic hand gesture right when Ryan's name is mentioned. It's important to note that most Freemasons claim to be Christians. It's how they hide themselves. Ryan has recently gotten an interesting tattoo in his hand of an eye, which we already know is a reference to the Masonic... Now, per this platform, okay, again, per this platform, this is, this is Ryan Garcia's latest tattoo. The C and I. But wait a minute. I thought he was exposing the elite. He never identified a name. And his latest tattoo is this. Per this platform. All seeing eye, or the eye of Horus. Not only did he get this eye tattooed, but he placed it specifically on his hand where he had a serpent leading to it. The serpent is an obvious representation of Lucifer. This tattoo represents the serpent leading to enlightenment, and it is obviously an occult reference. Ryan goes on to explain why he got this tattoo in a recent live that we will be analyzing in a little bit. On top of this, I have noticed Ryan doing Masonic hand gestures during an interview, and again during this recent live stream he did, quote unquote, exposing the truth. <laughs> so all this shit is staged, okay? You know, you can't be gullible, man. I don't give a fuck, you know, what he says. At the end of the day, this dude is a puppet. And it's all about the prophets. Let's go to... First Corinthians 4 and 9. For I think that the Most High has set forth us, the apostles, last. Not Ryan Garcia. Okay? The apostles are last. Or any other whistleblower. It's all about the apostles. The mouthpiece of Yahweh are the prophets. Okay? As it were appointed to death because some of us will die. Period. Okay, and this is part of prophecy. For for we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men via YouTube. Okay, us uploading videos, being out there on the highways, as well as inside of our homes doing this work. All right, let's go to Hebrews. One and one in the NLT. Long ago, the Most High spoke many times and in many ways to our forefathers through the prophets. Okay, through the prophets. Amos three and seven. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he reveals his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Okay, so who truly does the bidding of the Most High? The prophets, okay? And it's my speculation that Ryan Garcia is nothing but a fucking puppet, okay? And according to that platform, look at his latest tattoo as well as him doing hand gestures All right, check this out. Let's go to Proverbs 6 and 13. Let's start at 12. 
a naughty person, a wicked man, walks with a forward mouth. Okay, verse 13. He winks with his eyes. He speaks with his feet. He teaches with his fingers. Now, let's break this down. In the NLT, Proverbs 6 and 13, he signals his deceit with a wink of the eye. Okay? So you see a lot of celebrities, okay, that poses or take picture or pictures, takes pictures with one eye showing or one eye closed. All right? And this is showing the elite that they are down with the program. Signaling their deceit with the wink of the eye, okay, a nudge of the foot, or the wiggle of fingers. So you may have certain celebrities that stand in a certain position, letting the elite know they are down with the program, or just doing different hand gestures, okay, occulted hand gestures, letting them know that they're down with the game plan. And according to this platform, right, um, Ryan Garcia's latest, latest um, live, he was doing occulted hand gestures. This is the same hand gesture Oscar made when he was talking about Ryan. And interestingly enough, it's the same hand gesture Andrew Tate made when he got arrested. We must remember the Freemasons communicate through hand gestures and secret symbols. And this is a symbol of the Eye of Horus. Ain't it a coincidence that Ryan hit up Andrew Tate to tell him this important information? Another person who was showing the same hand symbol as him? Now, let's think about everything we learned. Ryan Garcia got signed by Oscar, who we know is a Masonic puppet when he was only 17. So all these casts are nothing but controlled opposition. From Tate to Garcia, so on and so forth. If you are truly against the agenda of Esau, Best believe you are going you are going to wake up dead. Period. So Lord will you are edified shalom.